search it, you can click your uh, start button and go to network and let's see what these computers are going to show us. I see PC30. Hey, I see all four of them over here. What you do is hit the start button and then you'll on the start menu you'll see where it says network and then you click that network icon and then all of a sudden bang I see PC 25, 16, 32 and 26. How are we doing back there? Mm -hmm. Same thing? So this network is already set up but the challenge I'm going to have for you two guys today is I'm going to pull the wires. Once I pull the wires all of that's going to go down. But the key is um, for you to be able to reconnect wirelessly. So one of the things I gotta do is I gotta run next door. I'm gonna pull some of them USB cards, USB NICs rather, and I'm gonna let you insert those in. You got one, I'm gonna get another one. So we only need the two, and then we can start rebuilding the network. And what I'm gonna do is just pull these four cables out here. So, cause, and that'll uh, disable the wired network. And we're gonna go wireless, okay? And when we go wireless, We'll see two. And in fact, I'll get one, so we'll have three. I'll do one, and, and we'll see three. So one, two, and three. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Just disconnect us from the wire. This is our wired network. I'm going to pull these all out. So now our network, wired, is no longer working. So now we got to connect through these wireless antennas with that wireless Wi-Fi adapter that you plugged in. So here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to give you verbal instructions and see if we can get this done together. Okay? First thing I want to do is see if your computer recognized that you plugged that device in. And the way to do that is to go into what's called control panel. And when a device is not set up in control panel, it will usually have eat some type of yellow question mark or yellow dot by it. So what you do to get a control panel, you click your start button, start menu comes up. Click on control panel. Yeah, click then click, you see control panel? All right, click on control. Okay, click control panel. And then in control panel, you're gonna look for an icon that says system. System One of the, and security? Uh, no, it'll just say system. You see the icon that says system? Let me make sure you're using. You, let me take you were there, quick. Anthony. Anthony, you were there. Let's change you to category view. Your system and security will work. He's in a different view. Go to large icons. There we go. Let me see where you were at, too. Uh, uh, close that window. Oh, yeah, he's there. You're already there. You're there. Now, near the bottom, you'll see system. There you go. Double okay. click. Double, double left click. There you go. Boom. Yeah, there's different views you can have. And uh, instead of being in the category view, we're, we're now in like large icon view. That way we both, everybody sees the same thing. So now watch this. Now I'm gonna double click my system. And what we're gonna do is look for that device. And now when you click the system icon over to your left, on the left hand side, you will see device manager. If you double left click device manager, and it should open up Device Manager. Now under Device Manager, and under mine is under Other Devices, I see a PCI Serial Port and a PCI Simple Communications Controller. But I don't see, I'm hoping it'll make that sound. Come on, talk to me. For some strange reason, this computer don't want to act right. Let's give it one more shot. I'll try it in the back. If it don't work back here, I got to reinstall the computer because there's probably something happening with the software on it. Yeah, I just did it again and it still doesn't show. So that's okay. I got other computers in here. I'll just move up to this one. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to go to start like you guys did. I'm going to go to control panel. I'm going to go to system. I'm gonna double left click, sit down. I'm going to double left click device manager. Device manager came up, I'm going to just plug this into the front. It found it. Boom. So I know I got some trouble with this computer here now. So I got to reload this one. So anyway, you see where it says 802.11 NWLAN? All right. 
what we got to do is now install the driver to make this device work. And I can tell you guys where this driver is. If you minimize your screen, just hit the negative sign, that's, that'll minimize your screen, and then you can close the screen behind there, the screen that had the system on it, just close it. And then you're back to your uh, desktop. When you click your start button, and then where you see where it says documents, you left click documents. What I'm hoping is that on your machines, I've loaded that drive. Yep, there it is. I got a driver in both of yours that says setup. What you want to do is double click where it says setup. That's actually the software that makes this device work. Then you click yes. And there it goes. It's running. That's a tender wireless LAN setup. It's, it, then you say I accept the terms of the license agreement because if you press don't press cancel I mean press X oh no I'll say I accept you gotta hit the bullet that says I accept there you go and then you hit your next button and then it's and then what you want to do is install the driver only you just want the driver you don't want to install the wireless LAN software we're going to let Windows operate it and then install piece of cake so when you put a device in the machine, you have to load the device driver. If you hook the printer up, same scenario. But there are some uh, devices that actually have the, you know, the driver is actually already embedded inside the Windows operating system, so you never even have to install it. As soon as you plug the device in, the system goes out and grabs it out of its operating system and loads it for you automatically. So while you guys are doing that, I'm going to load this one for me too. I gotta go to Tenda. I think this is it here. I'm gonna catch up with you here in a second. So I'm like, you got already ready to roll. Driver installation is it's already there. That must have been the bad one. Let me do it a different way. Right click, shift, delete. Go under documents, drivers, network, and uh, all right. Here we go. Okay, I gotta see. put the bullet where it says I accept the terms of the license agreement and hit next. I'm gonna install the driver only. I hit next. And then I hit the button that says install. I so see you guys have already done it. So you guys are probably ahead of me. Chris finished. Installation complete. Yeah, finished. How's yours, Nate? Finished? I'm done. done. And this process, like I say, is similar to most devices that you would add to your computers. It's not going to be much different. If you plug in a device, you hook up a printer, you, you know, you hook up a scanner, you got to load the driver, and then the device becomes active. So right now it's telling me to please wait. Later on we're going to ask you guys some questions. You guys have been here. Some of you have been through this before. We would like to find out what things that um, are more interesting to you, you know, in, in this class that we're doing. And I'm going to hit the finish. Now what happens is we're all finished with this. I'm finished too. If you look down in the lower right hand corner of your screen, you'll see a little triangle with a yellow dot on it. See it? Mm -hmm. See this one? Right there. See right there? It's orange almost. You see that little yellow dot? There you go. There you go. You can close this window. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead and click. You see where it says not connected? That's correct. Right now, you're not connected to any network. But there is a network that's out there. And the network that I want you to connect to 
Anybody can read the name of it, the, very, the one that's real strong at the top? Link. Link says, look here, see what that says? It's actually seeing this router emitting its name. That name, they call it a SSID. And we can change that. But right now, the SSID for our router <laughs> is called Linksys. L-I-N-K-S-Y-S. -S. Now, have any of you ever connected to a network with your phone? Uh... Oh. Yep. It's the same process. So right now to connect it with this, you double click on this SSID, Linksys. And when you do that, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to double click here, and op or open up, then I'm going to double click Linksys. It's, at some point it's going to ask you for a password. Oh, I connect it automatically? Mm -hmm. That means I don't have no password on there at this point. Exactly. In fact, I came up as connected. Cool. And the reason it didn't ask you for a password, because I haven't had, I don't have a password set. Yeah. But later on, I can. But here's what happened. Now, you're connected to back to that router without a wire. You're connected wirelessly to it. So let me see if I can see Wi-Fi. There you go. So now I'm going to see if I can see you guys again. So I'm going to go back to network. Remember in, when you click your start button? Earlier when you clicked the start button and you went to network, you seen four. How many do you see now? Three. I see three, two. Three. Bang. You know how to now set up a wireless network interface card. I'm seeing PC 25, 26, and 32. PC 26 is me. It's written right on the computer. Which one you're at? Which one are you at? 25. 25. Everybody's back. Quick, wasn't it? Not difficult at all. 